So we're going to trust us playing with a dog, we'll talk. <laughs> Did you see this dog? The dog's a beast. Giant. So Charles down in Vegas. We got Cody Adlo talking to with us that might be a good time to switch and stop running our Siru 1204 XL. Because they don't make it anymore. They don't make it anymore. It's been discontinued for a while. We get a lot of questions about it, what tripod we're running, and then Cody has to answer it that it's discontinued. And I've got an old tripod head that I've been using for a long time, which works great, but I don't have, unfortunately, they don't pay me quite enough to just upgrade all my gear every year. So uh, I guess it's time to upgrade tripod heads and legs, right? And this is a treat. Yeah, it is a treat. So I suggest <laughs> suggest you stop playing with the dog <laughs> and you go look at some tripods yeah. and compare and contrast. It's like, look at an all serial line, look at some other brands. We've got some want. Vortex tripods. Anyway, you should go check some out. Yeah, find some comparable options. Who's a good dog? Stop playing with the dog. I'm just going to go with everything. I'm just going to kind of do a, a brief look through. So this is the 833. Or the 834. Do you have an 834 there? Yeah. That's a giant tripod. This is a really nice tripod. I'm already taking both of these, these options. I haven't looked at Slick in quite a few years. I haven't either. Height difference on those two. Yeah. Pretty close. What I see, what I see right away, this one's gonna be more compact in my backpack. Mm-hmm. Because it's got less leg sections. Yep. You can see right there. So that's how the shortest this can be able to go compared to the shortest this is able to go. Either yeah. of these are running for you. I think so. Really? I think I might have to keep these out. I think these are too heavy for me. Oh, check this out. Yeah, you can take, tear them apart. Make it smaller. Yeah, so if you only want to use one center column, mm -hmm. you could ditch some weight. You could ditch your weight, Trail. Yeah, I don't think this is my cup of tea, but... Too heavy for you, Trail? Yeah. This is too big, too heavy, more than I need for most of the glassing I'm doing. I don't think I need a tripod this robust because my spotting scopes that I use are typically smaller. So six, 65. 65 millimeter and like a 10 by 42 set of binos, but you're using bigger spotters. And the other thing too, we were talking about earlier trail, is I like these because <clears> they have a big surface area for mounting a head on top of. To me, it seems like it's gonna be a more solid piece and you got the Allen head screws underneath it Yeah, too. This, the set screws. Wanna check that one out? Yeah, check that one out. All right, this is a Slick Pro C Carbon Fiber 733. One I'm considering that's kind of been on my radar, which is the Carbon Fiber 635 from Slick. I know that this is one of the shorter options, much more lightweight. Ooh, I kind of like that one. Mm -hmm. I like the height of it, and I like the fact that it's, only, like I said, it's only got the three leg section. Yep. This one still gets pretty tall, too. Yeah, that one is tall. Obviously not not the load capacity. You can see that there's a pretty mark market. Yeah, getting smaller yeah getting smaller here and then also the individual leg diameters are getting smaller and compared to the 834 and the 835 this one's even smaller this one's got five leg sections it's just a babe this one this is a babe look how small that part is yeah i'm kind of looking for something multi-purpose you know that i i can backpack with but i could still do some glassing this is really interesting yeah this one's me. now probably ranked up there on top even more than the other? Maybe. Look how tall that thing is. Does this have the, uh, yeah, it does. It also has the parts that screw, screw parts. You can, your thoughts on the hooks. You could even do, I never, I always take them off. I never use mine. All these have uh, angle adjustments. So you just pop the tab out, change the angle of the leg and it pops back in, which is great. Is that a feature that you have to have in the tripod? Yeah, you have to have that. Why? Because there's always situations where I'm sitting there glassing, might be like a cliff or logs behind me, and for whatever reason, I'll take one of these, kick it up in the bank or something like that to glass on. I'm like sitting in the middle of it. Yeah, it doesn't going. automatically click, click in, in like some of the other options do, huh? Yeah, so that's kind of a downside to me, but not a deal breaker yet. No. I like this one though. So this would be a little higher. This one I don't think we'll continue with. This one will get put back. Yeah, I don't think that's my, my jam. I mean, that definitely has its use. Oh yeah. Like if you're a backpack hunter and you're looking to really ditch some weight and you're doing a lot of glassing from your butt, you're using spotting, a smaller spotting scope or not even a scope at all. Yeah, you know? like it's so compact. Yeah. And I do like, like I said, I like three leg sections versus four or five. That's a lot of It's legs. so much faster. Moving along, moving along. Moving along. So the, yeah, the, the Carbon Fiber 634 from Slick is one of our best selling tripods. That's one that I commonly get questions about, and I know Cody does as well. It seems like it's kind of in the wheelhouse for what folks are looking for. It's big enough. It yeah. Can, yeah. It can, it, it can handle some uh, some weight. 
It's also lightweight enough that people feel like they can backpack with it. It's got four leg section versus three, which is the 733 that we just looked at had three, which I do like that. It's tall enough. Yep. It's tall enough. Yeah. Sand. It's and it's super light. Is it light? Oh yeah. Oh man. It's another one of those feather tripods. That's super light. I can see why people like it. Again though, I think that's kind of annoying to me. You have to push them down. Yeah, that I gotta push that in. Is that one in the running with the 733 for you? I'd still probably go with the other one. Why? Just because for me right now, since I switched over and got the BTX, mm -hmm. I'm just a little concerned I feel too lightweight. Right. To have heavy optic, I want a stable platform. I'm kind of leaning toward the 733 as well based on the number of leg sections. So mm -hmm. three versus four. I don't mind that it's longer overall. As long as it's still short enough that it can fit on the side of my backpack, yep. I'm not too worried. I don't put mine in my backpack that often. I'm kind of leaning on that 733. I do want to compare like weights. So okay. like, yeah, let's, keep, let's keep it out and we can weigh them. Okay. Let's do that. We'll add to the pile. So this is probably our very best seller. The TO24 SK with the VA5 head combo. Yep. This is probably the one I was most interested in in updating for one. You get the head and legs. Yeah, so one thing about the Surrey is that you can, if you want to, you can store it completely collapsed. So that's with the center column up totally and then the head on top. And you can pull that. Right there, I just love that. That clickety that, click. That click in. You know, do push the button and lock it in. You like that clickety click, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, that's nice. It is nice. What do you think of that? Yep. You like it? I like it. Might be too thin of legs for my style. Me too. I mean, this is pretty good, but I think it's just a little too light. Too short? Too short and a little light. I like the fact that it's like all metal construction. I like the VA5 head, and we sell more of that head than any head ever. You've owned one, right? Yep, I for love a the while. VA5 head. I'll never get rid of the VA5. Really? Yep. What do you like about it? Everything. <laughs> Everything on it everything about it the only thing i wish is sometimes this little knob was, was on the other side on the other side because it gets in the way of the little handle right here and so I'm you probably turn your handle forward facing yep. so right-handed but the nice thing is you can key it by pulling this out and moving it around so if, you, if it is in a lock position where it's right let's say this was right next to it and it's getting in the way right there i could just pull this key out move it over and now that's the lock position and then you just have to unlock it oh really yeah. i didn't know that so you can pull it and we key it. One thing about this head, I get some questions about. So as you as you push this forward, you can see that there's like some pop back up to it. Does that ever bug you? No, I actually like that feature a lot. I feel like it saves my uh, optics sometimes from from falling down falling and then and everything tipping falls over. the whole over. tripod over. Yep. Probably not when you're using a big heavy optic, but like on binos especially, I don't have to worry about it falling down off the mountain. It's kind of going to spring back up and hold yeah. it into place. I think like as a combo for a backpacking tripod, this is a really nice setup. It does feel a little small. So we're gonna put this one back. Okay. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna be very tall. It's quite short. But already I'm impressed with the materials and the leg connection area. Yeah, that's one thing that you notice about the top end part of this is it's much wider and mm -hmm. it also looks a lot heavier duty. Yep. Getting the chance to open it up here, it's not as tall as I'd kind of hoped. I do you believe you got a really tall center column though? Because you have two adjustment points. Do you have another one in nope, the box there, ahead. or is that it? Right here. Oh, look at that oh, T rail. Oh, wow. I've watched Neville do this a lot. You have? Yep. <laughs> Neville taught instance. you something? Maybe. Is this the first time that you feel like Neville's taught you anything? Maybe. So it's still pretty short though, even with both columns extended. And you just only ever sat down and glassed? Yeah. This would be money. Like you're telling me you're gonna start packing your BTX places? Yep. So this, this would be a tripod this that would do really that for sure. It's really compact. Even though I, if I've said a billion times, I don't like multi-leg sections, like a lot of leg sections, these are so heavy duty, I don't think like it would be a detriment no, to the stability of this tripod. Um, and these are bigger and grippier too. Like they are, the they are bigger. I feel like the overall the diameter of these legs up top is bigger. That might one be, it might be in the running. I think it could be in the running. This one might be up my alley actually. Nobody stands in glass, bro. I know. So 1992 and it. Those are for truck hunters. We don't truck hunt, Joe. Right? Or they wanted to look at the 1204 waterproof. And they don't one. have that, we don't have that one in one stock. stock. 
But we do have the um, Suru W2204. Let's look at that one. It's a big dog, right? Yeah, it's a big dog. Red Bull, gives you wings. We got the 2204 waterproof from Sure. Siriu. Siriu. You liking that one? Yep. Ooh. It does look nice. What do you think of it? I'm really digging it. The only downfall, which we mentioned before, to me is this part right here. I'm not a big fan. Of the trekking pole leg? Yeah, I don't you even should, know exactly should, how to take it you off. You should show that though. There might yeah. be people that would be into it. So, this allows you to fully take off this leg. I'm sure you could put something else on there. I don't know if you can. So now it's like a trekking pole. So, which could be useful if you're out there somewhere steep, nasty, you kill a kill a buck, and now I want to go down this hell hole, pack this up, and use this to navigate the down timber, and just leave this back up top where my camp or other stuff might be. It's tall enough you could pitch a tarp with. You could pitch a tarp with it too, yeah. But then you'd, you know, you you'd have, have a tripod. leg. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you were real mobile and moving all the time. But it does seem like a very solid connection. That's like what brass or something like that. So I don't think it's ever gonna like get loose on me or cause like vibration issues. How much is, is weight and concern? Like how much, how much like emphasis or thought do you put in like the comparison between the weight of a tripod, the stability, and then the packability of it. Like what's more important to you in terms of priority? Probably to me packability and stability. Those are kind of opposite ends of the spectrum yep. though. Yep. So how do you gauge that? I just try to find something that does have that extra leg section that you don't like, so I can get a little shorter in my pack. Okay. So I try to go lightweight in all my other gear, except when I get two optics and then a weapon I kill with, because those are, I think, the two most important aspects to me. So those are two areas where you feel like you can justify, I can justify a little bit of added weight. weight. Yeah. Is a five pound tripod too much? That's too much. Okay. I think like this right here, three pounds, seven ounces, is probably be the max I would want to backpack with. Yeah. And then also this is, it doesn't have the VA5 head on it yet either, so it's going to add another pound and a half. Yeah. So do you have a couple in mind that you are considering? Yes, I do. Okay, and I do too. This should, being one of them. And this being one of them, and I think that's... One of them? Yeah. For you as well? Yeah. Even though it's short? Even though it's short. Ooh, I know. Might Interesting just... development. Yeah. Summit Carbon 2 and the Ridgeview Carbon. Brand new from Brand Vortex new this year. So this is a combo. Yep. You get the legs and the head. Um, yeah, let's pull them out and see how tall they are, right? Yeah. I've actually used them a ton the last quite a few months. Any thoughts? Initial thoughts? I actually really like them. The only thing that took me a while to get used to is the two-way pan head. Yeah, which I've been using for a while. I like that. You, you like this? Yeah, I do. It's actually pretty comfortable to use both tilt and pan with one mechanism. So that one obviously being the bigger version. Yep. You got three leg section versus four. Mm -hmm. um, backpacker's tripod, would you say? Definitely backpacker's tripod. That one's very similar to uh, some of the other slicks we were looking at earlier. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like they're a good value for what you get. Mm -hmm. Quarter turn legs are pretty sweet. To me, I still, I still think I need something a little uh, more robust. More robust, yeah. That one is really tall. It's really tall. Like yeah. completely maxed out. That's even over your head. That's going to be over my head. I'm 6'5". So if there's any NBA players out there looking for a tripod, this would be the one you want to get. It's definitely the tallest one of all the tripods I've looked at we've so looked far. That for sure. Yeah. And it still comes up pretty compact too. But. Yeah. You also, one thing I liked about them, just playing with them a little bit, is I like the angle adjustment. So you've got the little lever here that you can adjust between the different angles of the legs. Yep. I think that's super smooth. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that you just clip that in and it goes up, or you can feel that click all the way down. Yep. Um, I like that. Overall, I think it's a, another cool option. I mean, you mentioned that it's a quarter turn on these legs. Quarter turn, so it's super quick to adjust. It is adjustment. really quick to collapse these and, and, and pull them out. And I also like too how it's like, it's not, you know, a tiny little twist knob. It's actually a good twist it's, knob where you can grab yeah, it. Yeah, in your hand. So and it's cold, you have gloves on. My one gripe, and just to be honest and totally transparent with these, uh, the, the tripod heads themselves. So if you're a right-handed glasser, you're probably gonna end up having to use this thing with your right hand uh, with the yep. handle facing backwards to you. I like to run mine forward. I also, I don't know, you've played with this a little bit, but how, is this a, and annoying to you that you have to twist this. A lot of them have like a flip lock, right? Yeah. So I mean, it was something that would be nice to be a little quicker. But yeah. It does work. You just gotta make sure it's locked because there's no really indication to know 
that you're locked on, so you don't want to throw something on there and have it be loose to a glass right. and pick it up and, and it knock it off. off. You can definitely tell that Vortex went with the super streamlined version of a head. I mean, it is very compact, very mm -hmm. small, very lightweight. It still feels like it would hold some weight. It feels secure. It held by BTX. Okay, right on. But I had to keep it really tight in the top. Right. And you can take it off too if you want to switch to different uh, yeah. tripod head. Um, really lightweight. This no, one's super light. Very friendly for backpacker. That one's not bad either. Two more options. Two more options. I still kind of have my favorites. But I got my favorite too. So let's move on and right on. Uh, do some weights. What do you think? We pick the two that we're kind of considering, like our favorites, and yeah, then favorite two. do like a way off real quick. Way off. And we could uh, toss in my old trusty, the one we're getting rid of. The 1204 we XL. Not, not really getting rid of, but the one we're not going to use anymore. Man. So that's mine that's seen everything. It's been beat to crap, as you can yeah. see, and it still holds up strong. So we're gonna weigh them. Okay, you go first. All right, so it has a little extra dust on it. It's gonna add to the weight. <laughs> yeah. So my old 1204 XL with the VA5, three pounds, 3.6 ounces. That's pretty light. Yeah. For a tripod setup. And I can still stand in glass with it. Yeah. So the 2204. That's what picked? Yeah. Okay. I wanted to go with the other one, but we don't have them in stock. So we, this is my, did we sell it while we were doing this? Yeah, I think that's when we sold it while we were doing this. <laughs> so this is the other one I was thinking of. Okay, so with the VA5 head, four pounds. Almost five. Almost five. That's for that's for the big glass. Yeah. All right, so what other tripod are you considering? The one you're in your Oh, hand. this one right here? Yep. Okay. I guess I should probably take that off. Three pounds, 12 ounces. So it's, it's still a little bit heavier than this one, if I remember right? Compared to my current setup. Three pounds, oh. 3.6. This is 10 ounces heavier. Oh, wow. That's, and it's shorter. And it's shorter. And it's shorter. So those are the two that you're considering? Yeah. Okay, so that was also the one I was considering. And we could talk here in a minute about why. The other one I kind of really liked is one that really wasn't on my radar, but it's the Slick Carbon Fiber 733. Um, for me, based on a few things, one, the overall height, we've talked about that. This is a really tall tripod, which is great. And then I love the fact that it's got the three leg section versus four, which is quick. Uh, I am a little concerned about the overall weight, but I figured we'd throw it on there and see what it looks like, right? 314. So still shy of four pounds total, yep. which isn't bad for a tripod that's that, that's that tall. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Decisions, right? 312. So two ounces lighter and certainly shorter. Certainly shorter. Um, hmm. And a different two in a yeah in your backpack. More compact by quite a bit. I don't know if this one's gonna be tall enough for what you want it for. I know, but I, I really don't ever stand in glass though. So. Yeah. So I don't stand in glass. A little bit heavier than my other set. It's gonna be probably the simil most similar I can get to a 1204 XL. Mm-hmm. I can always strip off all these uh, little padded things here. Do you ever use those? Like yeah, I don't even know what they're supposed to be for. Just like oh, really? So they're padded for carrying, right? So if you mm -hmm. throw them on your shoulder, I guess I use it for that. They're, I can they're, probably notice it there. They're padded. Yeah, yeah. You could ditch that. That's gonna save you half an ounce, maybe. <laughs> and what might be my option? This guy. Yeah. We have two of them. We're gonna do twinsies. Stock. We're gonna do twinsies again. I do like this one. Yeah. Um, what do you like about this one? Maybe we run through that real quick since this was one of our picks for both. And we should probably like clarify what one this was. This is the Cire uh, T1204SK. Um, what do you like about it? I like that Neville runs it. Is that why? That's why I was gonna get it. No, I just like it because it seems to me, it's built like a tank. Everything on this upper part right here, I feel is very well thought out. And it's like all the locking things are super smooth, super easy to use. It clicks back down in, mm -hmm. really nice. <laughs> still super stable. I've glassed off Neville's before and it's worked phenomenal. And I can always never use this top part. You know, I'm sitting down glassing and mm -hmm. it's gonna be a stable platform where I'm sitting. I don't need it really for standing up and glassing. I do have another big tripod I could use for truck camping, that yeah. sort of thing. So the load capacity on this, I think is like almost 26 pounds. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. To me too, let's see, let's see what this lower leg is. It's gonna be the same, right? Yeah, diameters are about the same, aren't they? Yeah, so I'm not losing anything on the bottom leg. No, not in diameter, it's not. But I am having a big upgrade on uh, 
It's hard. The middle, the middle, middle like it. I like that too. Did it's you like big that? and grippy compared to my old one? Look how beat up this is. Yeah. And there's like no grips on it, and like right. the glues came off over years. And one thing I really like about this, and it's not even something that really probably you know yields itself to a lot of benefit, other than I just really like the way that that twist lock feels in my hand. Mm -hmm. It's like a big you know beefy grip that i can grab and it's quick yep super quick and it's really smooth so yeah i think i think i'm gonna go with this one let's, let's go with, let's you're gonna uh, go with this one as well we still okay. throw the optic on there though let's okay. put this guy on put we'll the head on BTX. we'll put the btx and see what it looks like yeah let's do it did you bring your little glass and chair <laughs> that would have been the selling point i'll just have to uh, sit down you could stare off into the distance yeah <laughs> we could check out see what's going on the strip Mm-hmm. Is there anything going on the strip? Just COVID shut it down. Bro, I avoid that place like the plague. Do you? Yeah. So we both selected the same tripod, which is the Surrey 1204 SK. We both like that one a lot. We went up to the main office and talked to our boy Cody and said, hey, we want to do these two tripods. And there's been a, a new development. A little twist. So there's actually only two of these in stock. And that is due to the fact that uh, we're getting some new ones in. So they've made some tweaks and some updates and we're gonna be getting some new tripods that will come as a combo. So I think we're gonna hold out. Just hold out, kind of get the full picture. Get of the what full they, picture before we make our selection. Uh, yeah. If I was buying today, this would be it. We'd be both picking that one. So if you guys get a chance and we still have any of these uh, 1204 SK tripods, I would highly suggest you jump into the shop and pick one up. This would be my pick. I, was, I also think it's very interesting that before we both picked 1204 XLs, and after everything looked at today, we both land on the same mm -hmm. tripod again, and I can see us landing on the same one further. Yeah. I guess our styles are probably very similar, our use cases do, so. Yeah, I agree. And the thing I liked about it is that it's lightweight enough that I can backpack with it. It's definitely not the lightest option. Mm -mm. We can go lighter can if go we lighter. wanted to, but there's kind of that, uh, midway point where it's got to be heavy duty enough that it can support the optic yep um and i tell people all the time i would always sacrifice three or four ounces in my backpack for a steadier field of view uh i guarantee you've been in a situation i know <laughs> i have when i've had a buck or a bull across a canyon and the wind's blowing a little bit yeah, and i'm like windy. i would give anything right now <laughs> to have a tripod that could support it in the wind a little bit and i could get a, a better field of view so yeah i think it is good that's interesting that we both landed on the same one i think this is a, a killer setup both for backpacking and then just general use but you're probably gonna pick up the va5 head today though va5 head still goes home with me yeah super impressed with the va5 head so I guess stay tuned. We'll be back uh, in the future with a brand new updated tripod. I don't even know if we have a name for it yet. But I just can't wait to test it out. We'll see. Mm. There you have it. Glassing stuff makes me happy. Makes you more.